What does it really take for a t-shirt to sell in the five figures every single month? Well, obviously it takes some luck, you know, luck of the algorithm. I don't think anyone can dispute that, but I do agree just to a certain extent that we do kind of create our own luck just by putting in the work. So today, we're going to be analyzing a t-shirt on Amazon that makes over $35,000 every single month, and we are going to see what they have been doing right. I'm gonna be telling you the fonts they used, the graphics they used, where you can find those fonts and graphics, the keywords that they use that clearly are working for them, and kind of just telling you why their design seems to have worked. I found the t-shirt by searching for dog t-shirts for women, and it's crazy to think that someone who is ranking for such a long keyword is able to be bringing in over 35,000 a month. I then analyzed the results using a tool called Zonguru. Now I have made other videos on this tool, but just in case you haven't seen those, Zonguru is a tool for Amazon FBA where you can analyze different products. Now I mainly use this tool for my Amazon FBA private label products, but recently I've been using it for print on demand and it's been really cool. Now this, this video isn't sponsored by Zonguru, or anything, but I just wanted to tell you again a bit about Zonguru. Now that you know what Zonguru is, right, let's go and actually look at the details, the stats, and the data of this t shirt. This is the Amazon listings over here. We can see there are tons of Amazon listings, and we can see how much they're all making. So, like this one that says it's making 500,000 is just a plain t shirt, which kind of makes sense. So, if we go down to the t shirt that we're going to be looking at today, it's making $35,227 at 2,350 sales a month. That is this t-shirt, right? Rocking the dog mum and auntie life. This is so cool. Let's have a look at the Zonguru numbers in a bit more detail. Now the prices, the, the numbers may change. So you can see revenue here, it says 32,000. That's because I believe it's taking into account all the different styles. And this is just one of the styles, which is this one. Right, but then you've got all these other colors which probably make a tiny bit of money. Anyways, we've got, let's have a look, we've got a price of $14.99, which is a pretty decent price, nothing crazy there. Sometimes it goes up to $15.99, that's probably because of the size, but I think $14.99 for a print-on-demand t-shirt is a pretty good price point. You've then got monthly sales, $2,199. Now, for a t-shirt with this many uh, kind of niches, you've got, you know, People who like dogs, mums, and aunts. That's quite a lot, right? That's quite a lot. The BSR is 8,274, which is incredibly low for a t-shirt. That's that's insane. Really insane. You've got, a, you've got reviews of 1,443, so that's another reason why it's doing so well. And then the average rating is 4.7, which is excellent. And then LS stands for listing score, and that's usually out of 10. That's pretty good, 6.4. Right. Now that we've kind of looked at the data, let's have a look at the actual t-shirt. This is a super simple design and basically no graphics except for the little dog paw. We can see though that this person behind the design does have some design knowledge based on the overall layout. Juna from Detour Shirts recently made a video about this kind of layout and the lines and how it all just looks really good and why this is a specific kind of layout and I'm going to show you exactly how this is so perfectly centered, font sizes, positioning is all just spot on perfect. We can see it's lined up and centered perfectly and I've done some lines here to make it easier for you. So if we go through and just put all the lines in, you can see how it's all centered really, really well and the the is directly in the middle, right? You can see how this is all centered absolutely perfectly. And this does make a difference. It's aesthetically pleasing to look at. Back to the t-shirt. If we, if we look at the t-shirt in a bit more detail, we've got three niches here. Now, the more niches you have, I wouldn't say the more niches you have, the better, but having three niches means you're incredibly targeted, which means your conversion rates should be higher because people clicking it are looking for something very specific, which means you'll be getting less clicks, but higher conversion. And then the higher your conversion is, the more the higher you'll show up in the algorithm and then the more sales you'll end up getting. The argument against going for such a niche um, design is that you're gonna be getting a lot less clicks, a lot less searches because it's gonna be very, very niche. However, clearly, in this case, it didn't even matter because they've whittled their design down to three niches, yet they are still able to bring in over 30 grand a month. 
So I don't think the idea that, you know, this is not getting enough clicks is really a matter here. It's getting over 2,000 sales a month. So yeah, sometimes whittling down to multiple niches is totally okay. Now let's look at this, this page in a bit more detail. Let's analyze the page. What, what keywords are they using for their title and their bullets? Because those are the two main things that you see when you actually, you know, land on the Amazon page. So first one, we've got the name, Rockin' the Dog Mum Aunt Life T-shirt. Now in this, you've got dog, mum, aunt, life, and t-shirt, all keywords. You've then got women's, that's another keyword, cute dog lovers keyword, shirt instead of t-shirt this time, short sleeve, it's full of keyword, dog, mama, t-shirt, tees, tops. Now I do know with Merch by Amazon, they don't like it when you use the word t-shirt in your title or in any of the words, right? They don't actually like that so much. However, I have a feeling that this is actually a private label, um, so like, you know, Printful integrated, rather than it actually being merged by Amazon. Um, I can't seem to tell, but I just don't think it is. I think this is, I don't think this is necessarily merged by Amazon, but it doesn't matter. It does not matter one bit. It could still work very, very well. At the end of the day, you can kind of see all the different keywords they have there, and they have a lot of keywords. Now, in terms of the, the bullets, right? Really cool, under feature, funny, that's a keyword. Letter print t-shirt, keyword, must love dogs, must love dogs, puppy, uh, love rocking the dog, mum. It just, it doesn't even make sense. And this kind of makes me realize that sometimes your keywords don't need to make sense, your bullets don't need to make sense. I've always been really into the idea of making legible sentences out of my bullets, but clearly this person is telling me I'm wrong. Because if you have a look at this, rocking the dog, mum, aunt, life, letter print, t-shirt, casualties for aunt, funny, rocking the dog, mum, aunt, life, short sleeve shirts. Gifts. Funny dog lover gift for, for women. This shirt will be a perfect tease for your... Okay, so that's the sentence. So my point being is they have just, well, they've keyword stuffed it, but they've keyword stuffed it nicely. They haven't gone to town like you see sometimes on Redbubble. So now, now that we've kind of fully analyzed the shirt, we've analyzed the listing, I want to show you exactly how easy it is to make something like this. Now, I just want to quickly say, because I'm showing you how to make this, it does not mean I am telling you to go and rip off this person's design. This is their design. Make your own designs, you know, use, use different niches. You can still use dog, mum, and aunt, but kind of come up with your own different designs and whatever. All I wanna do is show you how to make it just so you can see how easy and straightforward it is and you don't have to overthink the process. So we're gonna use Canva, okay? We're gonna use Canva to make this just because, well, you can use Photoshop, you can use Affinity Designer, you can use Placeit, Vexels, GIMP, whatever you want to use. I'm just using Canva because it's super quick and super easy. You can see I've already started the, the creation process, right? So that's the paw. We're gonna be building around that paw. What does, do, it says rocking the, so let's put in rocking the, okay? Right, now we need to pick a font for this. Now I've already got fonts open here, but I believe the font is like this one. So the thing you might see is the the is slightly different and the rocking is slightly, slightly different, but it's really not such a big deal. Right, then just drag that out, make it slightly bigger. Remember to keep to your to your lines. Now you can make those lines as well, just put them there, but you can see Canva kind of snap it to the grid. Right, and then the next font, the next thing it says, dog, mum, and aunt life. So this next font I believe is, I think it's called Amantic. Let's put it in. Amatic SC. This is the font I think it is. Again, I could be wrong, but this is the font I think it is. Now with this font, I would make it bold, make it a bit bigger, right? You've got dog. Now I need to just copy and paste that. Command C, Command V, space, space, space M maybe. It could be too many spaces there. Let's put it in the middle and see what happens. Yeah, one more space and we're good. Right, dog mum and aunt life. So let's put in and aunt life. Drag that out, spell that right. 
And there you have basically the exact same design, all snapped into center. You can have a look at them side by side. There's this one, and then there's this one. They are basically the exact same design. And you can see that took me all of about 15 seconds to make. So my point here isn't to go and find designs to steal and copy. It's to not overthink your own designs and just to realize that simple sells a lot of the time. So just go for it and just try and design something. Simple. Again, I just wanna quickly reiterate, do not under any circumstances copy this person's design. That is not what this video is trying to show you. I'm just trying to show you, you know, how easy it can be to create a design and that you don't have to overthink it. Sometimes simple sells. I hope you liked this video. I definitely wanna do more videos like this, analyzing individual products, as well as that analyzing niches, trends, all these different things, seeing how much different t-shirts are actually making. It's really interesting to kind of get to know all these different numbers. And if you want to be able to do this yourself, you can download Zonguru. The link is in the description. It is an affiliate link, but you know, it's just a little kickback. And finally, I wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in tomorrow's video.